26 years on, the effects of the explosion are still felt. One charity which brings children from areas affected by that radiation to the West Country for holidays says it desperately needs more host families. Claire Manning reports. It may be July, but it really did feel like Christmas watching these 12 very excited children pull crackers. It's a tradition they're unfamiliar with, and over the past month, they've experienced many new customs not known in their home country of Belarus. As well as new customs, though, this holiday's given them the chance to breathe fresh air and eat food uncontaminated by radiation. With the help of a translator, I asked 10-year-old Angelina what she thought the main differences were between here and her home. First of all, the house is not as big as here. Uh, then uh, probably the nature is quite different from uh, yours and uh, she feels that the air is fresher here and cleaner and at home. It was in 1986 that a Ukrainian nuclear reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. The neighbouring country of Belarus took 70% of the fallout, leaving much of its land still contaminated to this day. These pictures taken from near the Chernobyl site 20 years after the disaster still clearly show how many people were made refugees when they were hurriedly forced to abandon their communities. It's impossible to clarify how many people are still feeling the effects of that disaster, but the Chernobyl Children's Lifeline says that 26 years later, these children are still its victims. It was 1986, the disaster, and the consequences are just as great now as they were then. So these children all have a risk of, of developing cancers, thyroid, leuke thyroid cancers, leukemias, brain tumours, all sorts of problems. And by giving them this month here, we'll actually clear their bodies of two years' worth of radiation, give their immune systems a great boost, and also, should they be unfortunate to be one of those statistics, it will give them a chance to cope with their, with their treatment in hospital. Since Chernobyl Children's Lifeline was set up in 1991, more than 46,000 children have been brought to the UK from Belarus and northern Ukraine to stay with host families. Each trip brings around 12 children and the total cost for the whole group is about £5,500. Here in the West Country, the charity has several branches stretching from St Ives to Swindon, but says it has a waiting list of children to take on these holidays. They say they desperately need more host families. Host families like Brian and Sandra Jolly, who today are hosting this party at their home. When they arrive, they're often very pale. And obviously for them it's difficult because it's like putting them on another planet, really. It's all strange and new. They're only very young. I mean, the youngest we've had are seven and eight, the first two, weren't they? We dress them up and we give them good food and they're out in the air and, and it's, they just are much better. The charity says although four weeks may seem a long time, activities are laid on for you and the children and you can also opt to share the month-long stay with another host family. Brian says that despite them helping children who come from hundreds of miles away, there's a distinctly local feel to the charity. Although it's a national charity, um, the St Ives Link is operated within St Ives, so there's a, a community uh, aspect to it as well. Um, so uh, often when, when you like, support charities, you, you would send money to them and, and that's it. But here you can be part of the frontline action of what the actual charity is doing. These children are now on their way home to Belarus, not only with their immune systems boosted, but with memories of a holiday that will last a lifetime. Claire Manning for the West Country tonight. Quite amazing that 26 years on, children still need our help. So I hope some families come forward. Yeah. Many